<laughs> Sorry. Raphael. I mean, honestly. We can do this. Come on, Raphael. Keep it down. Yeah, with Vitamin 3 House is our Verdant Wind Assassins Only Run, where it's time to do a sad episode. We're going to ground her. Let's all be serious and not happy. Except for happy. She can be happy because it's her name. I mean, you wouldn't ask me to not be hoppy today, would you? No, no jokes. Only serious. And I said we wouldn't uh, refix our, any of our weapons till we saw how we were going to sortie everything. Uh, so just level is 33. Uh, what's our lowest level? It's in level 31s in here. We'll be all right. To war at Gronder. At Gronder Field, where the Battle of the Eagle and Lion was once held, the house leaders of five years ago have a fateful reunion. But this time, the contest between the Empire, the Kingdom, and the Alliance is no mock battle. Uh, spoilers! <laughs> I thought Dimitri was dead. I believed it wholeheartedly. How could you do this, huh, game? I'm not meticulous. You take that back, Edelgard. From the Great <laughs> I'm about to hit you. <laughs> the Alliance army marches south toward Envar, with a sword. The Imperial capital. It's made of wood. As an unknown military force begins their advance under the banner of the Kingdom, the Imperial army dispatches forces from Fort Mercius with the intention of intercepting them. The curtain is rising on a conflict between the three armies, which will come to be known as the Battle at Granda held on the same planes that witnessed the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. <laughs> the way they just put, like, a blue curtain over Dimitri, like, just threw a blue cloth over him, like, it's it's not time yet, you don't know who this is. <laughs> it is interesting, though, that um, the Empire is going to clash against us as though, like, they don't know that we're, if we're together or not. Which I guess would make some sort of sense, except don't they try to pull, well, they're about to do it anyway, so... I thought there was something, maybe I'm thinking of Azure Moon, where they, like, kill one of your scouts so that you think that you're against each other. Oh my god, those trees in the background are just like, I don't have much time. Before it happens again, what's going on there? So there's a chest. Our uh, victory condition is just to defeat Edelgard and Claude. Edelgard's got some monsters and a Hubert. We've got loads of forest on this side, though, which is basically how we succeeded in um, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion back then as well, right? We just kind of hid. And I don't think they get the thing this time where it's like success on the battlefield has increased their stats. I don't think that is a thing in this one, so you can just let them take each other out. Of course, Dimitri has way fewer uh, people than anyone else because he's not actually got an army. Holy crap, he's strong. <laughs> yeah, we're only getting through him with uh, some magic, I'm thinking. He's got Eredvar, he's got Atrocity. Accuracy isn't uh, absolute legendary. Does Atrocity give him any? It gives him 20, so even Claude would have a trouble dodging, but I think that would be the that would be the start, would be to put Claude in the woods here to lure him and then see if Claude does any damage back. Uh, so I know how much damage is Claude doing with a training sword? 43, yeah, so he'd do a, a, a bit of damage back, and then someone could finish it off with, uh, probably Lysithia, finish it off with a Soul Blade or something. And so anyway, who are we taking? We only got 10 people for this massive, huge, pivotal battle. Lysithia, yes. Happy jury's out still, because, uh, I'm not sure there'd be a, loads of situations here where we can just tank physical. Except, yes, we can, because there are a bunch of armored knights. So you're absolutely happy, come on. Ignots. Uh, well, let's start with our mages and our fast people. Well, like I was saying, I'm not actually anticipating this being... T uh, well, I said I didn't know how difficult this would be. I don't think it's actually all that difficult. Especially as we can let them take each other out without getting a bunch of stats. I'm going to be forsaking a lot of experience by doing it that way, but we just don't really have the class type to be running out in front and engaging openly. So I'm saying we bring um, some lower level people and try and get some experience out of it. So Ignatz and Raphael will stay behind, which is fine. They have a lot to catch up on anyway. Let's bring Linhart with Happy because I want to see that A support. Bring Baltus with Claude, because I'd like to see that one as well. Pretty sure I never did see Raphael and Ingrid's supports before this. Oh, he's not coming right. I do want to see Leone and Alois Tay. My training sword and bow, actually, may as well. Your 11 sword for sure. Uh, your woe down. It's a bit pricey, but let's just be sure, because he might be using, like, several soul blades with it. Your 11 sword, of course. And probably your training sword. Well, you're not doing too many combat arts with that. It's probably fine. Your 11 sword for sure. We're using a lot of 11 swords. I, I love the I love the three range on them so much. It's one of our few three range things, so I've been using them pretty liberally. Your training sword. Of course, the Shia sword's probably about time, so we don't we, we can stop holding back on that. Doubt you're gonna use your training sword 39 times. You might use it 23 times. Let's get Lawrence's up while we're at it. Your training bow while you're at it, even though you're not coming. There's no harm in doing it now, really. Your training sword as well, Raphael. Okay, good. I feel confident and comfortable. Let's do this. <laughs> I didn't even really set where we're going, but doesn't matter. That's the same bird that was here before! So upset that this isn't standing on a cliff anymore. Where's Rhea? 
Ah, whoa, hey! It's not even turn one yet. Cheaters? Um, you guys are fired for more. Hey, Dimmy, how's it going? Know that I will tear your heads from your shoulders. Oh! The dead must have their tribute. So it's not going like awesomely awesome. <sighs> That's the it's appropriate noise to make when seeing a bunch of corpses. Go. This one's gotta be the worst in history. Second worst at the very least. Years ago, we fought here as classmates. But not today. I'm surprised the rest of your army heard that and took that as the sign to attack, to draw arms. Kill every last one of them. No, we only have to kill the commanders. <laughs> I guess you're not taking orders from me. Onward! And so we fight on. Why? Well, it's gonna let them all run forward. You're not gonna go with them like Claude did, huh? Not really being a model leader right now, Edelgard. Which I feel comfortable saying because I know you're about to I will crush anyone who blocks my path. Me and two with an axe. Dimitri, he's alive. But he doesn't look interested in joining forces with us. Yeah, you know, I got that sense when he said I'll crush anyone in my path. <laughs> it would not be advantageous to take on both at once. We must stop the kingdom and the alliance from joining forces. Oh good, she she can't see the colors that create such chaotic warfare that they won't be able to tell who is friend and who is foe. She can't tell that we're <laughs> opposite sides. Sweet. Oh, the frame rate's really having a tough time with this one. Right, you know what time it is. Time to run into the woods. Let's, you know what? There's no, there's no prize this time. Let's hide. Let's make this quick. No, let's make this safe. <laughs> Actually, this would be my stance. Shall we? Yes. Make it safe is what we shall do. Mounted units, advance. Hey, well, I'm not even in the woods yet. That's not fair. All right, fine. Be that way. Damn, Lance enemies. What? <laughs> really? After all that? <laughs> I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. He's just gonna stand around? <laughs> Alright, Dimitri, you do you, I guess, but seems a little weird. Uh, you listen here, you you have a 12% chance to hit me even with your Lance Fair. I could bring out an axe and then you wouldn't have Sword Fair on me. Oh, you're still pretty fast. <laughs> Maybe I'll just kind of stand here and block it. We're all gonna be up there in a minute. Such that it won't be a big deal. Those aren't both gonna hit Hilda, right? Just give me a... Teal, let me get a gun. Right? What are you gonna do about that, huh? Oh, I'm gonna go after Hilda and- Oh my god, their accuracy got like a billion times better all of a sudden. I thought it was at 50 before. What- Why does it 70 now? Oh, cool, they're gonna go- One's going after Lawrence. That's useful. <laughs> they would have definitely taken down Hilda if they went there. I don't know why suddenly they had 70% chance to hit. This one ran away so far that now they can't hit anyone. Hey, look, you- Get out of here! Stop that! Listen, you- <laughs> I can't remember if I have close counter. Damn it. <laughs> I could have put myself in front of the this one if I had remembered. Yeah, I did. Well, it's level 31. Let's uh, fix that whole situation, shall we? Oh, yeah, he's got buttloads of accuracy from his Edmund troops. So is... Wait, are we really... <laughs> these two are the only... This huge war is about to break out, and they're just going to wait for little old us to go? This has probably surprised me last time, too. But it's surprising. <laughs> the cutscene made it really look like they were going to go a bit faster than this. I can't for the life of me come up with any reason why it is that the the Empire and Kingdom would just be like waiting for the Alliance. <laughs> they're just gonna do nothing, huh? Maybe maybe once I take this one out we can... We'll have some better ideas. Oh, they're in the woods now, which they weren't before, which is part of why we're having so much trouble, I see. Uh, let's just go for archery as much as we can then, because we're not at least then uh, held back by the limitations of the sword. I've got actually pretty good accuracy with all my friends here and everything. Put the extra damage. Someone will bring that down. Fail not seems a bit overkill. Where's Marianne? Hit that with a soul blade, don't ya? Yeah! That gives you lots of accuracy, and you're also gets just accurate. Good! Now does that? Do they come down now, or...? Nope, oh, still waiting on me! <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll just take the time to leisurely heal as much as we want. Question then is, who do we want to lure next? Um... Maybe this whole side. Call and see what you can do. Uh, who knows how many this will lure down exactly. Doesn't someone, um... Does the Empire get, like, reinforcement Pegasi from where we're standing, maybe, at some point? I don't know, I've got a bad feeling. Maybe that was only during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. hey ah -ha No, the rest of this place still not really all that fussed. Which, in, the way, in a way, is kind of good, right? I can take this at, like, as slow as I really want, which is cool. Pew! Pew! That's, that's undercut the drama ever so slightly, but take it if it means winning. And not dying, perhaps more crucially. Ouch. That was improbable. I fought and won. 
It's all right. We have time to get you as many concussions as a couple. It's, it's actually, let's all just relax a little. It's going to be all right, you know? Oh, Claude. So sorry to hear that. It's fine. We'll just, well, you know, let's, let's all gather around Claude and give him a group hug. That'll make him feel better. I think we've got time. Bring it in, Claude. Lawrence will stay outside of the group hug. He's not as into it. <laughs> Everyone else is fine with it there. That's okay, Claude. You got smacked in the face with a lance. It's okay. Ain't no shame in it. Group hug till you feel better. There you go, buddy. And then he sauce you another concoction now. There we go. Doesn't that feel better? That's what friends can do. All right, next one. <laughs> we believe in you, Claude. <laughs> oh yeah, and if I stand Hilda beside you, then you deal extra damage. Uh, is there like a protector one that's like adjacent allies take less damage? Do I do that? Oh, my professor's guidance also got plussed in the same way that the um, house leaders do, so I, I, my friends also deal two extra damage. Neat. So I'm, we're, we're helping him deal five extra damage with our pure friendship power. Aye, Horse Slayer. Wow. At least it's a little less accurate. Everyone do it with archery. Oh, wow, you're tanky. I didn't even think that would... Oops. <laughs> even I'm doing basically no damage. Why does this one have so much defense? He gets support attack from me and uh, adjacent attack from me. Oh, do they have like armored blow or something? Why is he all of a sudden doing 15 damage? He was doing nine before. No idea. I'll take it. So close. Nice one. And his level for Claude is up to 35. Like I said, don't, don't mind getting him a bit overleveled. Dex luck. Closer to my goal. Bit more crit power for you. His speed is 41 base. I think Petra has a better speed growth than him, technically, but we've been giving him all the speed buffs. Lone's get the finisher, though, with a, a silver sword. He's got 100% accuracy, as per his Edmund troops. Epo shield. I'll be taking that. All right. Uh, did that prompt anyone? <laughs> We're just going to really... Just gonna maybe just crawl along here as as possible. So is it a Pegasus Knight or a, a Hubert that I'm bringing down now? Pegasus Knight. Um, pretty strong, but again, Claude is Dodge Man should be all right, and they have to move their entire movement to get this far. So uh, let's put Hilda beside him so he gets more damage. So my point being, uh, they won't be able to retreat, so we're all we'll be able to attack them without sticking our necks out too much. And uh, of course, being a Pegasus Knight, unless they have one of those shields, they take extra damage from archery, so it should be an easy takedown. If we just take absolutely all the drama out of this and just crawl very slowly up. A crit and a lethality, why not? I, I, you know what? I don't think they could have predicted that one, to be fair, Claude. That was pretty outlandish. This brings a Hubert down. They're abandoning the central position to attack us. How leisurely. I mean, you're not doing anything. <laughs> why wouldn't I? <laughs> Does that make everyone come down, though, maybe? You're interfering with the plan. Oh, he's going to be across the way. Like I'll just have to get rid of That's awkward. Hey, wait, don't. <laughs> Consider don't. Oh, they're still gonna wait around. So I could have someone run up and, like, arch him, I guess. I'm trying to think of a way to actually, like, physically have him go down here. Now, nah, whatever. Claude can go here to lure the Pegasus Knight, and then uh, Leone just failed on him. Oh, that's not a good idea. Really at all. Oops. Uh, we'll give this a try. And then maybe he'll miss, like, enough of these that it's fine. <laughs> Why? Is he doing 20 and 20 when he was doing 14 and 14 a moment ago? Oh, he's got Phoenix Blow, has he? Oh, oops. Well, my bad. I should definitely have just had Claude. Uh, you know what? We've got, we got all our pulses still. Let's genuinely just wait it out. We actually are, might be in, at risk of running out of turns before the end of this, but that's fine. This is the opposite of a speed run. Karmic balance. But with how much trouble we had, especially in early on story missions of this run, I'm I am relishing in any opportunity we get to make a story mission easy. I guess I usually head up the west side, be it on Azure Moon or um, oh I guess that would be the east side. I head up the side with the yellow army usually, I guess, because I'm like, oh, it's more, it'll be easier to attack. But that seems to prompt more enemies to come down. Because don't they like send people in from the side here or something when you do that? Apparently, if you go this way, things are fine for a much longer time. All right, he's about to run out of Meyer, which I think is his only three range one, so he'll have to actually come down here now. To so hit us. Close. Question is, will he do that of his own volition since we've started uh, luring him, or does he actually do I actually have to walk into his range again now? Where is he going? <laughs> is he going to fight the kingdom? I really want to watch this. I guess it'll start prompting all of his people to move, but I I really just want to see what happens. It's just Hubert walking all the way across the whole battlefield. Where is he going? Oh, he's just decided to go attack the kingdom with all his troops. Hey, well, you know what? That worked a treat. <laughs> have fun, you crazy kids. If we'd caught him, we could, probably could have made it so that we fought all these people. Because he's just corralling everyone as he goes by. But now I kind of want to just watch this. 
I mean, this is the claw the most clawed play there ever was, right? To just run in and attack a little bit so that they start fighting and then just sit back until there are like three left. I'm just role playing the character at this point. So really I'm playing the game well is what I'm doing. Is Dew's moving down? Is Dimitri gonna go as well? No, after all that talk about getting Edelgard's head, he's just chill. But here goes the fight on this side anyway. Wow. One of those uh, melee people's about to take Hubert out since he's right out in front. He didn't stay behind his armor to people at all. He was like, come with me! And then just ran ahead of them. <laughs> he's gonna die. And that's the sniper that would have been in Bernadetta had we not uh, recruited her. Nice throw. I shouldn't really be commentating like that. I'm sorry you're all killing each other is what I meant. Even though it looked cool, briefly. I can probably skip a lot of this like, just to see what the result is, but Cuber's going down for sure, right? Yeah, that was fast. Fighting on will endanger my life. Your Majesty, I must withdraw. <laughs> I guess that might have been Felix there. Oh, wow, this Armor Knight is taking an absolute beating here. Well, good job, team. I could probably even just skip these entire turns if they're not going to come after us. I could just skip forward to the part where they're all gone. Well, Dudu is, is still fine. He's going to go all the way and, like, take down the entire Imperial Army. Oh my god, they're just... This is, this is... Let's just speed this all along here. Oh my god, they're just melting through. Oh my god, it's a bloodbath. The dude is just not stopping. He's going He's going right for the the monster and everything. Oh, that poison strike's going to bring him down. But he's he's still staying pretty healthy. He's just going to break his axe before any long. All right, he's now he's, he's, all, he's all on his own. His uh, sword master's gone, but he took down someone just then, did he? But I think this is probably his last turn. No, not quite. Wow, man's not stopping. He's got one bar down on this monster. He's going for the next one. <laughs> Force of nature, this dude, really. And he's healing somehow. Is he using his concoction? Really armchair generaling this one, <laughs> Dimitri. Okay, some people coming from behind. Interesting. Neat. That would have happened if we showed up, went up the west side, the east side, I think. The Dimitri side. Okay, so now Dimitri's starting to move. The dude's still just whacking this monster to bits. But of course, these ones are still going after the Imperial troops. I think it seemed like kind of like Dimitri was going for us, but... We can actually hide in the woods for that. That'll make it a lot easier. I'm... Dude, I know we're losing a lot of experience here, but I am very happy with having played them like this. I feel... I feel like I... I, I did the Golden Deer thing. Like, I played the Claude play. You know? I don't really understand how or why, <laughs> but I did. Maybe we should get back into the woods and anticipate Dimitri's arrival. It did have it did have very much of the feel that he was going for us and not Edelgard for some reason. Which gameplay wise I would understand, but uh canonically, <laughs> it's like he was he's only here to kill Edelgard. <laughs> he's just going for us first. I get it, save dessert for last. It's that that's the thing you're looking forward to. <laughs> oh, zero damage. <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> Hey, no wonder he's bringing those monsters down. They weren't the ones doing any damage to him. This is awesome. <laughs> Ooh, crit. Nice one. Nameless sniper. I mean, you've got a name. I just don't know it. No, maybe Dimitri is going for the, the Imperial troops as well. I kind of do want to see Dimitri and Edelgard throw down in a minute here. But if it can be helped. I think it probably can't because I think the AI generally is, is attempting to go for the weakest opponent, which would be us. Except... Hubert didn't. Hubert, well, I guess he found people, well, I don't know. Maybe they are programmed to attack each other somewhat as well. I didn't expect to do to run in and to destroy my entire army single-handedly. I just set it on fire and run. <laughs> Take out that one Pegasus Knight. You guys are tactical marvels, you are. <laughs> oh my god, this is so much fun. <laughs> I thought this was going to be really grim and, and sad. This is the funniest mission in the entire game, unbeknownst to me. Zero damage. <laughs> oh, does he get, like, extra uh, defense when he's low? Man, that sniper is just critting everyone with that ballista. Ooh, fire bad. Dimitri's going right up there to uh, take on Edelgard, it looks like. Yeah, I think we continue to hide. They'll handle it, you know. They'll let them work it out. 
<laughs> we're only quasi part of this war anyway. We're fighting mostly defensively, I would say. That's the last of his concoction, though. Gotta be. Oh, damn. His speed is three before the speed ring. That's like less than he starts with when you play as him. His battalion endurance is still at 100. He's probably gonna have to withdraw at some point, right? Well, I guess if it's not the fire, then nothing is dealing damage to him. Staggering Blow only does 52, which is his defense. I feel like they orchestrated that just so, so you would be like, wow, deduce a freaking monster against these monsters. Let's all just, um, chill in the forest here. Let's go camping. I think it's time, the Golden Deer camping episode. This is what an, oh, it's because we have stealth. All of us have stealth, so they can't actually track us. Of course. This is what an assassin's run is. Oh, second blow did two damage to him. Oh no. Oh, I guess one of them lowered his defense or something. Anyway, he's still he's still holding his own pretty well, I would say. And these mages are just going down one after the other. Crit, crit, crit. Oh, Dimitri is gonna just put the smack down on some monsters in a minute here. Right, they must be sealing defense or something. That's why he takes more damage on their turn. I can't believe that the stealth actually works! It works! No one knows the Golden Deer army even- They just think it's a battle between the Kingdom and the Empire. No one even knows the Alliance is here. We just hid and went camping the whole time. Oh my goodness. I did not realize. I, I never thought, because I, I understand- I had thought of some of the applications of stealth. I never realized how useful it would be in a three-way fight. <laughs> Making it so that you just can't be targeted if you're not right in front of them. We, we beat up Hubert. Oh no, Mage got to do. Shut up and retreat. You must live to do. I'll do it myself. I can handle this entire army. There's only one other army after all. Oh, he's gonna atrocity the heck out of it. Oh, he's just doubling them with Eridvar. <laughs> yeah, you go, Dimitri. Take down that giant lizard thing. Oh, they're about to seize the central hill if they don't get shot. They got shot. Someone else will have them seize it. Although, I guess that doesn't really do much now at this point. <laughs> Vantage! Nice try. I'm actually pretty astonished, but it looks like Kingdom Army is the one who's gonna uh, uh, bring down here. Like, they're, I think they're gonna win. As much as they can, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> just like making stew over an open flame. Just like, you guys hear something? <laughs> just camping out in the woods, having a grand old time. I, I can't believe if you stealth everyone, they just kill each other. That's so awesome. Because I think otherwise they would be going for us because they go for whoever's got, like, they have the best chances of killing. Or they try anyway. Actually, Dimitri's taking a beating here more than I thought he would. But he's being pretty reckless, so I guess it only tracks. Wow, he's doing no crits, or they have anti-crit armor or something. Wow, his, his people are not helping him at all. They're just kind of standing there in the fire doing not much. Or are they trying to defend the central hill? Well, sorry, Dimitri. Never mind, looks like he will lose. If they had all come to help him, I, I think I would have been pretty confident he would uh, get as far as Elgard, but... Seems unlikely at this juncture. He's not really the dodging sort, and they're hitting him from range. Oh, he gets counter from uh, range. He can just summon lightning, like Zeus. <laughs> he didn't even use his weapon for it. He just sw yeah. held out his hand and lightning struck the ground. Since when was Dimitri a warlock? But I mean, Kingdom Army is absolutely ripping through these monsters. Maybe he will get as far as Edelgard. He won't get much farther than that, I guess. Yeah. His people on the hill are, are close to bringing down this Pegasus Knight, except they're still just mostly content to hang around in the fire. I guess the fire floor doesn't affect them because it was them who did it? I thought Edelgard did it. Or maybe it's just not affecting you and it is affecting the other two and I'm not noticing. It's weird too because the combat forecast says they're going to go after this one, but then they just don't move. Alright, come on, Dimitri versus Demonic Beast. Is he going to bring it down? When they have no barrier, he's critting them so quickly that it's not even funny, but... He's still, got, he's still hanging on, just barely. Oh, they're going after him now! And there's Dimitri. Where are you, God? I will not stop until I kill you. Kinda sounds like you will. <laughs> well, Kingdom Army is almost all but routed. Maybe we could just go for take down Edelgard now. These bunch here will duke it out somewhat. I guess we should may as well take down the rest of them we can. For the sake of experience. Since we forsook so much. But I guess they're gonna take down a whole bunch of them uh, on their own beforehand. That 
Peg, uh, Cavalier's probably going to go take one swing at the mage and then get killed on the repost. Oh, they're going to heal themselves. Well, you're dead now, <laughs> probably. I think this is like a highlight for our Assassin's run. We just hid and didn't do the fight at all. <laughs> this is what stealth build gameplay is. And we, we succeeded. We're living the dream right now. That monster is just pacing outside. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I'm surprised they went after the one who had only two health left instead of bringing down the Cavalier or something. Now the Cavalier's gonna whack them. Oh! They dodged! Well, I wasn't expecting that. Pegasus probably won't. They won't dodge that. And you're gone. I think that Kingdom General there might have been might have been supposed to be uh, Ingrid. This might have been Ingrid and this Sylvain, and that's why they're generals and not just soldiers, and also why they're super strong. Anyway, we're here too. Surprise! So I wonder if the uh, Kingdom Army just holding position on that hill is what they're going to do for us as well. Like, if we step into their range, will they actually come down to try and hit us, or will they just, uh... I'm really curious about what this monster's plan is, because it seems like they can go up the stairs. Actually, I'll just hang out and see what this goes on here. They're just going at it from this angle, I guess. They prefer that for reasons. Oh, I see. The sensor here isn't on fire. The monster's just standing in the fire and having a bad time. Going after you, you're not going to hit back. The Pegasus Knight can hit you, though. So we'll only have to fight probably the monster by the end of this. I imagine the Pegasus Knight. Well, I don't know. Pegasus Knight and, and uh, this monster are pretty evenly matched. That Pegasus Knight just was out of there. They're not helping at all. I'm curious how this will play out. They're probably going to bring down um, the person on the hill here at some point. The barrier's all back. Maybe this is such a long battle that I shouldn't do it because I'm going to risk, <laughs> like, running my turn counter out. I guess it depends if the Pegasus Knight is going to heal or not. Maybe we should just get in there and put an end to this. This is getting a bit sad. What? Ten? Why ten? No. Oh, they've got some kind of super shield, do, do they? Wait, forget all of this then. <laughs> Let's just let them take down the monster. They're almost there. <laughs> this is all a mistake. We had a good thing going. Why did we go in and try and fight? That's not what we do in this run. Uh, fire's bringing them down, and then they heal themselves a bit. They're heading out of the fire now to fight there. I guess tonight one of these two will go down in a minute, and we'll, uh, we'll swoop in for the remains. Not looking good for the Pegasus Knight. Although the monster is going back into the fire to hit them, so I guess they'll be... So what, actually, I've got a question. Do they go after us now? And will they run through the fire to do that? Because that'll be awesome. Oh, clever monster. All right, well, I'll just hang out till they get here. We'll take down that, for that whole bar somehow. All right, you. Petra Gambit. Smash. Happy Gambit. It's not that ambitious. <laughs> it's our only It's our only enemy. Low-level people run in and do some things. Uh, probably should have done that with the silver sword. Sorry about that one, Lawrence. Whatever, we got pulses. Let's do it with Silver Sword. Shall we? Yonk. Ilda, you get more crit with the hammer and it's monster effective also, uh, or it's effective against this particular monster. Actually, I'll pulse that again. Go for a smash on that one. If you get a crit here, that would be awesome. Nope, no dice. Catherine, run in there with your sword and do some swording. Yeah. Wah. Zap. Zap. Nice one. It was fun to watch. All right, Edelgard is going to have... I mean, I feel bad for the poor soul who that once was, but... This must be so, so strange from Edelgard's perspective. The way she saw it... She saw these three armies rocking up on each other, then one of them just straight up disappeared. She brings down the other one using all of her troops, now it's just her. And then the other army just comes back out of the woods, and it's just this entire squad running up on her. <laughs> I would be so scared if I were her right now. You're like, am I fighting a ghost army? What is going on here? Now, the trick to remember with her is that she can and will use uh, the other one that isn't Apocalyptic Flame, Raging Storm, on you. Uh, how much does that add to your... Oh, you're actually 131... So 141, so if she uses it on COD, which she is likely to. T sucks I didn't give him Max Breaker. He's got 119 dodge after alert stance. So it's 41 minus 19, uh, 22. So 22% chance to kill him, basically. Um, we'll take that. I don't know that we have much choice, actually. I guess we could run all the way up here and try and bring her down in one turn with, like, let's hit the, uh, with a crit or something. We do that and we get all uh, up uh, alongside her. Of course, she gets counterattacked because she's uh, Free House's boss, but someone will be able to run in and crit her after that. I'm pretty confident. Lethality is, of course, a no-go here. Happy could maybe tank a hit from her on our turn when she doesn't get to Raging Storm. All right, Claude, let's do it. And I may as well put Hilda and Hoppy next to you so you're doing more damage. Oh, really, I should uh, put uh, have Happy rally your strength as well. Uh, Dex, rather. 
Douche and Bosch. Oh, I even got a 15% chance somehow I missed that. All right, let's do this. We've seen each other since Garrick Mock. You've grown lovelier than ever, Edelgard. You're not so unfortunate yourself. <laughs> and you have the aid of the professor. Frankly, I know she meant I'm jealous. Like uh, attractiveness wise, but it, it does really sound like she's talking about the state of the battle. Yeah, you're kind of you're kind of lucky on this one, I got to say. Now's the chance for you and the professor to leave. <laughs> I'm afraid I must decline. Even if we left I'm right back. I mean, unless you promise to leave the Alliance alone, but it doesn't... I gotta say, with all the fire everywhere and the, 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 the battleground just little, littered with corpses, doesn't seem like your kind of thing. Is she gonna hit? Nice one, Claude. Wonk, wonk. Very well done. 53 damage should be uh, easy. Oh yeah, that chest. <gasps> I forgot that Raging Storm let her go again, even if she doesn't hit. I thought she had to hit. I'm sorry. Uh, Hilda? My B. <laughs> Alright, everyone dies. My bad. I forgot. I'm sorry. I <laughs> I forgot that that's how that worked. Her Amy is just like, just like tin tatters over here. I actually uh, remember I looked up the other night what that chest is in here, this chest, and it's just another Lampo shield like we already got from that other person. Sorry, I forgot. I thought Raging Storm only let you go again if you hit. My mistake. Forgot how that works. Uh, it's fine. We'll just bring her down with a crit somehow. Where's Leonie? My orders? Your orders are a win, good and well. Uh, let's just see if we have lots of pulses to just try this battle like several ways if we want. Um, but let's just try rallying your decks, What's putting Hoppy here about? so that you um, get the extra damage from uh, being at his side. By the way, can he tank a hit from this? He sure can't. So we'd have to get this crit, which is not likely. Let's just put the bow on so that you're getting help from him and go for uh, Curse of Shia sword. Actually, it doesn't help. <laughs> um, my bad. Edelgard's still pretty tough. So really, I'm, I'm pretty... Grateful that we uh, got through the rest of it so easy. It's a shame I didn't bring Ignatz for his stride. I forgot that if I had remembered, stride would have been very useful for this. Well, since I've already committed this far, I may as well see if you get... Uh, if, you, if you hit both of these, that's 33 and 33, which is a takedown. It's just you're probably going to get hit in response and die. We'll destroy both the kingdom and the alliance. Now, with one fell swoop. We'll just see about that, Edelgard. Come on, Leone, get this dodge so that we don't have to... Okay, fine. <laughs> Dang it. All I have to do is take on Edelgard, but she's so strong. Oh, well, her, she's fast as well, right? 25, yeah, so... Well, uh, if we take someone tanky like, uh, Happy... Oh, she, she's only tanky with... Uh, f uh, she's only got 28 speed with the... Hang on, if I get rid of your shield, can you then... You have enough speed with the, uh, Leaven Sword to hit her and then not die. Ah, she's got a high crit chance all of a sudden. What do we say your odds were with this here? Well, you're still... You're right, you don't tank the one hit. I guess Claude isn't a bad, uh, opener then, because she probably won't hit him. Just have him go, uh bring it some huge damage with one of these and then someone else goes up and just uh like yeah then we have leone finish it off with a crit yeah that makes that sense all right please don't uh hit me in a crazy crit or uh all right upset victory would have been if you did that there we go instead it's an upset loss for you thanks a lot leone will take it from here skadoosh goodbye i lost just as expected you are <laughs> making my path an easy one she sounds so surprised, even though she was outnumbered like a thousand to one. But to be fair, I would be surprised if I lost as her just then as well. With Raging Storm and all. Yay! Nice one, Leone! Alrighty! I can't believe that still took an hour. I was just enjoying the show too much. <laughs> nice one, Alois. I must retreat for now. We'll meet again on the battlefield. <laughs> In spite of being surrounded by you and your one thousand <laughs> you outnumbering me on thousand to one. Farewell! <laughs> Even in an ugly battle like this, it's important not to lose heart. We have to take pride in our victory. It's a good place to start anyway. Teach. Now we can move forward to our victory. Yay! Wonder who will be the uh, MVP for that. I was gonna say Petra, but actually Marianne did get a takedown or two, didn't she? Soul blading it and stuff. Yay! <laughs> The Golden Deer camping episode. We're also just taking this opportunity while we're on the battlefield and we've won to practice our choreographed dance routine, as you can see on the left there. Good job, Marianne. I know it's an ugly battle, but I, I hope you're motivated. All right, let's 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 do the teardown after that. What an unusual way that went. So, Edelgard retreated. I suppose she lives to be defeated another day. What a fun stance. It was close. No, it wasn't. That's not true. <laughs> That's fine. I suppose a win is a win, regardless of the circumstance. Some of our allies are injured, but can still fight. Were they? <laughs> we'll just have to accept this outcome and press onward. Still, the battlefield looks awful. And I wonder what became of the Kingdom Army. 
and Dimitri. I know I really slipped away in the chaos of getting hacked up by a monster there, didn't he? I saw him. Who? Dimitri? He was completely different from how I remember him. He looked like a crazed demon while he was fighting. He pursued Edelgard as she retreated, but he didn't get far before he collapsed. I saw him surrounded by Imperial troops and pierced by their spears. I'll never forget it. He deserved a better end. <sighs> Dimitri. He went through so much to make it here, only for his efforts to be in vain. I can't even begin to understand what Dimitri must have been feeling, but there must have been some other way. Why did he have to go like that? And his vassal, Dudu, did he fall as well? <sighs> I don't know. Your Highness, you're in big stone now. I... I will bring you Edelgard's head. I swear it! So the answer to that one is no, Hilda and Claude. That is a shame. Professor, How? <laughs> may I have a moment of your time? Did Dimitri <laughs> pursue Edelgard? We we spent like a half hour between when Dimitri went down and when Edelgard retreated. He was just like slowly crawling towards us that whole time. I guess it makes sense that he got killed then. Off screen, no less. A better end he did deserve. Lysithia, what are you doing up this late? Trouble sleeping? <laughs> Does it have anything to do with the extremely traumatic battle we just witnessed? That's understandable. Anyone would be shaken after such a brutal battle. If you're having trouble sleeping, you should drink some warm milk. That's a thing. If <laughs> We're being really condescending when she hasn't answered yet. You treat me like a child, simply because I'm awake a bit later than usual? <sighs> Actually, I can hardly muster any indignation right now. I never believed that. I wanted that. <laughs> to tell you that I noticed something odd during that battle. <laughs> was it that they all ignored us? <laughs> what was it? There were some strange mages among the ranks of the Imperial Army. Did you notice them? The ones wearing masks. That's right. I have seen people dressed just like that before. It was a long time ago. House Ordelia was involved in a rebellion that took place within the Empire 18 years ago. After it was quelled, all of the key officials were caught and put to death. The Empire sent replacements who they used to take control of House Ordelia. Among the people sent by the Empire were mages dressed in black, just like those we saw in battle. If they're Imperial mages, it makes sense that they would wear the same clothing, right? Yes, but the mages from back then and today, I do not believe they are from the Adrestian Empire. Are they Alliance mages? No. I got the impression that they were from somewhere else. Somewhere completely separate from Fodlin. There's more. Those mages imprisoned the children from my house and performed horrible rituals on them. Blood experiments. Lysithia, you can't mean... even you? Yes. All of the others were deemed failures. They all died. And even I... <sighs> it doesn't matter. The point is that those monsters possess dreadful knowledge and power. I just thought you should know the sort of people who have allied with the Empire. Blood experiments. Does that remind you of anything, Teach? It does! Reminds me of a lot of things, actually. There's a lot of that going around these days. Oh, I thought he was referring to what was done to him as a child, but sure, the incident with Flame, too. That incident with Flame. Exactly. There was that secret group who abducted Flame and extracted her blood five years ago. The people involved back then were Tomas and Monica. Well, I suppose their true names were Solon and Kranya. So, that eerie group has been slithering behind the scenes in the Empire for a while now. Lysithia, thank you for sharing all of that with us. One day we will uncover the truth of who those people really are. Till then, try not to think about it too hard. That sounds really awful and dramatic. We're always here to talk, <laughs> no matter how late it is, or how tall the bridge is. Thank you for confiding in us. We've managed to invade Empire territory and emerge victorious in our first battle. I hope to maintain our momentum and push onward to Envar, the Imperial capital. You know, after like a month's break, because we, we really need it this we time. We are not legendary heroes in a fairy tale. Our stamina has limits. The longer we fight, the harder the fight will become. It will take immense effort to secure the supplies and soldiers we need to prevail. Boy, you better not be saying this is as far as we go. I doubt it. He's probably just saying we gotta, we gotta pick up the pace and get a big win early on here. Not. However, the road ahead leads deep into enemy territory. 
It'll be a difficult journey, strewn with hardship. I can't guarantee that we'll make it out alive. If anyone wants to leave, now is the time to do it. I shall accompany you to the very end. After all, someone must step up to take leadership should you fall. I'm coming. The future of my village depends on this. And now Raphael says something. I have to protect the professor. For Captain Gerald. I'm not going anywhere. Because of the Empire, my little sis can't live in peace. And now Ignat says something. Leave the future of Fodlin to others. I'm sure that everyone here feels the same. And then Cyril says something. The Knights of Seros will keep <laughs> fighting the Empire. We won't rest until we rescue Lady Rhea. I feel the same as the Knights. I've got to rescue Lady Rhea no matter what. So what? We're all supposed to take turns saying we'll do our best until the very end? Well, everyone except people who aren't Golden Deer and also not Marianne. She's not here for some reason. I don't see Lysithia anywhere either. So like, you know, not all of us. Some of us can. You, oh, she is here. You do. I... Where the hell did she come I'll from? Too. <sighs> Fine. Fine. I suppose I'll <laughs> tag along too. Until the bitter end. <laughs> She's like blaming Marianne for it. Just, all right, fine. You, you're gonna be like that. You're gonna make me be a good person, Marianne. Screw you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's an honor to keep fighting alongside such stalwart allies, right, Teach? Yeah, especially Hilda. She seems the most dedicated of all of us. You're a stalwart ally too, Claude. I know I'm a great leader and all, but praising me isn't gonna get you anywhere. False. It'll make me feel good. <laughs> all right. Now that I know where each of you stands, I'm going to return to Alliance territory for a while. I intend to report this victory to the Alliance Lords and draw out even more support from them. Our next battle will be even more challenging, so brace yourselves for that. Okay. Hmm. I mean, this one was right to my brother. Okay. He'll want to hear about our victory. Your brother, Lord Holst? How is he these days? Oh, he's doing great. I even got a letter from him before the last battle. He wanted to come and join our fight too. <laughs> but that wouldn't be allowed till Three Hopes. What's this? Lord Holst come here? That would be a most reassuring development. Sadly, it sounds like my father was against the idea. They want him to stay in case they need to fight the Almirans. Their logic is sound. Though it is vexing that the Alliance's greatest general cannot join us on the front lines. We should be glad that Holst is staying behind. Almira aside, there's also no guarantee that the Imperial forces won't try to launch a surprise attack from the Old Kingdom territory. Some sense there too, although how it's gone rolls a bit farther east than that, I would have said. Um, if you have something you need to talk to my brother about, I'd be happy to send a letter. No, that's okay. I'm just glad to hear he's doing well. Please send him my regards. Okie doke. Good. Is that all that we have to do to tear down before this place? It sure seems like it. Wow. That was bizarre. But ultimately, an agreeable outcome. So it's on to chapter 18 next time. Next video going on the channel is going to be Kid Icarus Uprising Part 9. I have to go record the other half of it now. I recorded part of it already, but um, I ran out of money to carry on trying the mission. So I played a bunch off camera, have a bunch more money, and now I'm going to go in and record the sort of second half of that video. Wish me luck. <laughs> ah, but our camping trip is over, so we got to go back to the monastery and do some real work. Thank you so very much for coming around. Hopefully I will see you around. Admiral's going to be out of here now. Peace! Well, like an ally? Sure can. He's definitely here. Still, after a while, he can stand being away from Penrose, it seems. As soon as his part was over, here he took a taxi to the theater. But he apparently didn't get there until after.